okay, so how do we do this? Well, how would we do an array? Like if we wrote an uh, array and we wrote array.new, right? Or um, proc.new, right? We talked about proc.new. Um, we do it, so we would create it the same way. So we do player one, and we'll just do underscore one here. We'll set it equal to warrior.new. And here is where we put in, I hate when I do that. So now what we're gonna do is with our argument, we've created this initialize here, which means when we come down here, we can plug in our arguments that'll go into these parameters here. So our name should be arrays, because that's what we did on the example. And does, does raise mean anything outside of just a name? Hope it doesn't mean anything bad. Let's see. Raise, make sure to do it as a string. And we will do clan as what what clan do we want to put him in? White fox. Okay. White fox. Sure. And what's gonna be his strength? We'll set his strength equal to 24, 23, okay. And we'll set our dexterity to 21, okay. That sounds pretty awesome to me. So we'll come down here below. And now we've created player one. Let's go ahead and create player two now. Underscore player two. Warrior dot new. Okay. And now we're going to uh, change this. So we'll do Berserk for player two. And we'll do Red Fang. Red Fang. That's the clan he's in. And we'll do 19. And we'll set his to 31. Why not? Okay. So that's great. Now what we can do is we can call one of these. Right? We want to know what player one's uh, about is. So we do player one, player one, dot about. It's right there, about. Now what's going to do, it's going to call this method here, and it's going to put this out. And it's going to read these instance variables that we created right here, berserk, red, uh, raise, white fang, 23, 21. And then you shall see it, okay? hit F7. Oh, whoa, gotta pull this up a little bit so we can see what's going on. And uh, go ahead and hit save first, then go ahead and hit F7. And you'll see that there was a problem. So player one dot about. So what happened here is, let's come up here, syntax error unexpected end. So we're missing an end and I believe it's up here. Yep, I didn't close the class. What? What? Sorry, I'm gonna come out a little bit so we can see what's going on. So I opened up this method here, I ended it, we're good. I opened up the def and uh, the def, I opened up the about method and I ended it, but I never ended our class. So that's what it's saying. It's saying, excuse me, you need to close that class. So I did that. Now I will hit save. Now I will hit F7 and we will bring up our output. So we'll drag this up here. And it looks like we still have a problem on line 17. So we'll come down here player one dot about in man let's see variable method dexterity uh, where's the problem here dexterity did i spell it wrong i knew it dexterity it's gonna be over here dexterity dex there we go forgot the at right there forgot the instance variables okay hopefully you guys caught that before me i'm just gonna remove that hide minimap why aren't you hiding what's wrong with you he wants to stick around with us. Ah, all is forgiven. So save it. Now this time, it's gonna work. Everybody, it's gonna work. Great, so Raze is a warrior from the White Fox Clan. Strength is 23, dexterity is 21. So we don't necessarily need to have that space right there, so I'll bring that, well we need it there, but we don't need it there, and we don't need it there. This is my OCD here. Save it. Now let's go ahead and call, um, let's go ahead and do player two about. So player two, player underscore two dot about. There we go. Save it and run it. All right. So Raze is a warrior from the White Fox clan. Raze, warrior. Gotta zoom out a little bit here. You guys should have this by now. Um, 
raise, White Fox Clan, Strength 23, Dexterity 21. Warrior 2, Berserk. Berserk is a warrior from the Red Fang Clan. <laughs> Doing my fingers again. Strength is 19, Dexterity is 31. So that is pretty awesome. That's that's great. And we can just cre keep creating more players, more warrior objects. Okay, so we talked about our instance variables. Now we're gonna talk about a global variable. Now, if we wanted to access any of these methods within, any of the methods within our warrior class, we have to be going to our warrior class, which is by calling out player one, player two. Now we can access the about method. So we can't come down here and write dot about and have it return anything, right? Because we're reliant on b us being on a class object, an object of that class. So what we can do though is create a global variable, which instead of starting, or it's not in camel, it's, sorry, it's a, it has a different syntax than normal variables where we can just write a variable, variable uh, underscore one. Instead, what we do is we start it with a dollar symbol that indicates to Ruby that, hey, this is global, we can access it from anywhere. And we're just gonna set this equal to, um, we'll do warrior warrior info, right? So if we wanna figure out like, what is, what is this deal about warriors, okay? And then we can just do puts here. So we do puts, why am I putting it in, in, in my quotations? What's wrong with me? Puts, a warrior, warrior well we don't need to say it's a warrior a fighter okay a warrior is a fighter a warrior has higher than normal strength okay there we go he never backs down never surrenders they never back down <laughs> they never back down never surrender surrender okay now when we come down here uh, whoop, let me come back over there maybe I went out of that too fast zoom in a little bit hopefully you can still see that again you can write whatever you want like basically this is the info like what is this about what is a warrior right I want some warrior info but I don't want to have to actually call on a warrior so now when we come down here we can we'll just save the file for right now what we can do is we can just put warrior info down here. So warrior info. And again, because we don't need to type, because again, if we, if we wanted to access the method about, we'd have to have it attached to one of our warrior objects. But warrior info, we don't have to do, uh, like we don't have to do player one dot warrior info, which is like, why would we? Because it's generic anyway. So warrior info, applies to all the warriors. So we should just be able to call it straight up, straight away. So we just, we hit save and that's why it's called a global variable because it's all around the world. So we hit save, hit play. And you can see that there was a compile error. Let's see here, warrior info puts, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, no equal sign here, gotta put one there. I mean, yes, an equal sign there, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't put the equal sign there. So hit save, go ahead and play that now. So I'm just gonna comment these out real quick. Player one, player one, no, not wrong line. Uh, player one, player two, because all we really wanna return is the warrior stuff. Uh, go ahead and hit uh, save here and then hit play. Okay, so now we're just recalling warrior info and it says a fighter, a warrior has higher than normal strength. They never back down, never surrender. Okay, so that is instance variables that we've covered today. That is global variables that we've covered today. And that is the basic syntax of classes. So this was a great tutorial set. Like this was a great, great video. Uh, total success, good job guys. I think we learned a lot, of course we did. Right, okay, we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And uh, so awesome. Thank you for joining me on this glorious day. And thank you for being who you are. Peace, everybody. Goodbye. Don't forget to check out my book at the bottom. I've covered this tutorial and many others. Plus, there's added stuff. And it's just different. Just a different approach. So, good night.